Okay, so this is just a quick short video to show you the uh, Imperial Knight that I use in the Sisters of Battle. I had a few people interested. Uh, as you can see, I fitted it with a LED lamp uh, that's supposed to be candle light, uh, as there are candles on the main turret bit where the head would normally be on an Imperial Knight. Um, just reach in. Uh, I've fixed the, uh, the, the guns, although the arms come off. Um, and I've done it deliberately uh, because these were the arm choices that I wanted and I had no intention to swap over. Um, I'm not a great modeler. This is only my second conversion. Uh, the first conversion being the Repressor that you'll have seen in my army showcase, uh, which was an Exorcist tank, uh, which I converted with plastic card uh, and a few bits from a bits box. Uh, so I'll very quickly just show you the things that I've done here. So the Storm Spear is uh, magnetised so that we can swap over to the Icarus cannons if I want to. Uh, likewise, uh, these quite heavy pieces of metal that came from the uh, Exorcist are also magnetised. And just flicking back, so this is what it looks like inside. Uh, it's not so pretty. Uh, I have to do quite a lot of green stuffing uh, to support it and it just runs off of a few small batteries uh, but it gives it the effect that I was looking for. So uh, assembling it each time is really easy. Oh, before I do, uh, the top is just sat. One of the nice things with the Imperial Knight is you don't even need to magnetise. Uh, it just sits quite comfortably on there and gives you a full range of movement. So just popping the lid back on and all the parts that go with it, together with the Storm Spear. Uh, there we have it, that's the Imperial Knight. I'll just turn it around, show you the detail. On the back, I've gone with some of the scripture transfers that come with the Sisters of Battle models. Uh, I seem to have a few in stock still, kicking around. Um, again, like I say, I'm not a great modeler, but to put, to put these on and to try and make them look Part of the model and also hide as much of the transfer as I can. Uh, I use uh, a quick dash of art coat, uh, gloss varnish, and then put the transfer straight onto that and then immediately gloss over it. And whilst that leaves a gloss sheen, as soon as you put a layer of purity seal, that disappears. So that's I'm quite happy with that. It means they don't come off with, with handling either because they've got at least two coats of varnish on top of them. So that's that's it, that's the model. Hope you enjoyed.